So for this one, see, see the, the radicands now don't match. You've got a square root of 45 and square root of 125. Before you just write this off and say, well, this can't be simplified, we've got to look at simplifying those square roots first to see if we can get them to match, okay? Now, again, by doing this, we're not actually changing the overall value of the terms. We're only just changing the way that they look, right? So, like, uh, 125, um, I'm, I, I'm going to split it up. You could use prime factorization on here, but I think we talked about this in the last section. As I'm looking for one of the, a factor of 125 that is a perfect square, in this case, that would be 25, okay? So, I'm looking at the square root of 25, and then the other factor would have been 5. So, I got the square root of 5 as well. And the square root of 25 is 5, okay? And the square root of 5 is just still the square root of 5. Now, don't forget your 5 out there in the front. And when I multiply those 5s, I get 25. And then I have my square root of 5. Okay, so this is fully simplified now. Is it possible that the square root of 45 will be a square root of 5? Well, we've seen already that it will, but I'm still going to show it. So I'm going to split it up. One of the perfect, one of the factors of 45 is a perfect square. That's 9. And then the other factor, I'll try to color code this. It's the square root of 5, okay? So the square root of 9, that's going to be uh, 3. And then we'd multiply that by the square root of 5. And yeah, don't forget your 10 out there in the front. You could even call it a negative 10 times 3. But negative 10 times 3 there, that would give us 30. And then we would have that square root of 5. See that? Well, now the roots do match and the radicands match. you got the square root for both and it's the square root of 5 for both, okay? Which means that I can now look to combine these like terms. That's going to give me some number of square roots of 5. How many? 25 minus 30 is uh, negative 5. Uh, if you want to show that multiplication there, that's fine, but that should be good. The last thing I'm doing on this, I'm just making sure that the calculator will do it. I believe it will. So I got 5 times the square root of 125 minus 10 times the square root of 45. Now, when I push enter, I'm actually expecting to see this number. Let's see if it does. It did. Boom. And it's fully simplified for us, um, which I think is pretty convenient.